Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports for Night News. I'm Joe Boric, a.k.a. Pro Joe, and this is going to be the second NHL midseason outlook for a team. This is going to be the next one for the Discover Central Division as we're working from the bottom of the division up. Just did one on the Detroit Red Wings. Go back and check that out if you would be so kind. Please also subscribe as I'm trying to hit 125 by next week at a solid 120 right now. This one is going to be on the Stars, the Dallas Stars, who are only at 26 games played, so they're one of the more interesting teams to talk about because they are at a plus three goal differential, so they're in the positive in that forefront. A 481 save, or excuse me, win percentage and a 910 and seven record for 25 points. Um, they're a team because they're seven games at hand behind teams that have played the most games, which is 33 is the most played in the league by Vancouver and Ottawa, um, and then 31 has been played by the Blackhawks, Anaheim, and another select few teams, I think the Islanders as well, um, so those have been the most games played, they got a lot of games at hand, so it's going to be interesting to see if as the deadline's coming in the middle of April the 12th, um, what the Stars are going to do, and that's going to depend on, they have all these games in succession, if they're able to continue to um, actually get going in the right direction, continue to increase that goal differential, and be able to have Adi continue to get going as well as obviously um, other guys throughout the roster, then you're going to continue to want to add to the team. Because you're having a solid season from Jamie Benn. His defensive numbers have looked pretty solid, and he has 15 points in 22 games. Uh, Radulov has looked very solid on both ends of the puck and has 12 points in only 11 games played this far by Radulov. Uh, Robertson's been very, very good at only 21 years old. Jason Robertson, who has 16 points in 21 games, playing over 14 minutes a night. Uh, Ru Rupe Hintz, or Rup Hintz, um has 16 points in 18 games played, 15 points in 26 games played for Goriano. Joel Kiviranta, who's just one of those Tyler Pitlick type, he's kind of like the new Pitlick of that star team that just goes hard, um, just keeps going, brings that fireball, that energy that every team needs uh, every night and can supply points, probably has a little bit more point potential than Pitlick at 7 points in 17 games. And has looked good on both ends of the puck. Como, who's just been a good, wise uh, veteran, has uh, done what he's had to do. And then Pavelski's playing amazing at 27 points in 26 games. Their defense, Alexiak and Heiskanen's, look good together. Klingberg's been in trade rumors. I personally am someone that believes they should not trade him. I think he's a good guy to build around. He's only 28 years old. He's one of the more efficient offensive defensemen in the league. Leaves some stuff to be desired in the defensive zone. But guess what? He's very good consistently offensively. Isa Lindell pairs well with him, both playing over 23 minutes tonight. A night, I think they should continue to keep that together. Uh, Joel Hanley's actually stepped up and played a lot better than expected, and Sakara is a good veteran for them, and both Ottinger and Hudobin have done well, and of course, uh, they also have the 25-year-old uh, Landon Bow on their taxi squad if he's needed, and Ben Bishop whenever he eventually comes back from injury. I think this is a team... If they keep trending in the right direction, um, Ty Delandry, also at 20 years old, has looked good, hasn't got the point total really going yet, only 3-16 in 16 games, but has looked good on many moments on the ice. Is only a 20-year-old, probably playing a little bit more than he should before he actually should. But uh, this team is a team that, again, is seven games behind the leader of games played. So they got time to make it up. If they start winning, I think this team is definitely going to be buyers because we saw them with Wick Bonus. This team is a perfect example of once you get to the playoffs, anything can happen because this team has a great young goalie and 22-year-old Jake Ottinger with a 9-13, a 4-2 record and a 2-23 goals against. And Hudobin, who's been always one of the better backups in uh, hockey. Uh, he's a guy that always figures out how to have a good, solid, consistent season and just make the saves that need to be made at a 265 goals against and a 907 save percentage. Um He's a guy that they need to play better consistently in front of his rim and loss records are only 5-8, and eight, but that's been because of the team's play and not his play, in my personal opinion. Uh, I think this is a team that still has a chance. That's why it's going to be interesting what they're going to do, but I think this is a team that still has a chance. So what they're able to do in those seven games they have to make up uh, on the team leaders in uh, games played this year, uh, then we'll be able to see what this team is really going to be able to do uh, since they're not fully at their midseason yet. But I think you've seen 
good signs from Delandria, just looking smart and looking efficient on the ice. Not fully getting to the point total, like Kivirana being that great energy, brings great energy to the ice every night. Gorionov's look good again. Robertson's been great, and I think it's been a pleasant surprise in how quickly he's hit this level. Uh, Dickinson's uh, done what he's had to do again. Probably shouldn't be on your first line. If this team looks to add, I'm assuming it's going to be at the center core just because uh, Dickinson probably should not be on your first line. Uh, Ben's been good. Um, obviously, again, uh, Hints has been good, so I think if this team looks to add or be on the center core and probably for one defenseman, and I could see that being where they go there. Andrew Cogliano, obviously, um, is also uh, one of their scratches. He's a forward that's a veteran um, that's able to play when healthy and uh, also provide a good veteran presence, a quick skater that actually is a plus four uh, this year and has been playing fairly well as a veteran presence as well. So this has been the midseason check-in on the Dallas Stars. I think this team, again, right now, they're not at their full midseason, yet they're only at 26 games, seven games behind the leader in games played. So I think they're going to be a team that really you have to look at this next week in some change. And if they start trending in the right direction, they're going to be buyers and look to grab a center and I think probably one defenseman. And then if they're going to be sellers, I think the guys will probably end up looking to move. Hell, if they end up being sellers, they might look to move Pavelski just because you can get a lot of um, good assets for him um, when it comes to that. Um, and obviously, if Klingberg's been rumored, so will he get moved? He could end up getting moved. Jamie Alexiak, who's a free agent, a UFA after this year, could definitely end up getting moved. He's a defenseman, a contender. Uh, could want beyond that uh, maybe Joel Hanley if uh, some contending team since he's actually playing saw once somebody has a six seven uh, he could also be moved or an Andre Sakara as well if they look to move people that's if they look to move people I still think this team has a chance to trend in the right direction if they do that they'll be buyers but we'll end up seeing what happens I hope you enjoyed the Dallas Stars edition of the NHL midseason report I really like the way this team is a uh, been trending now getting the goal differential in the right way and hopefully maybe they'll be able to keep trending with Jake Ottinger led by Ottinger the youngster and backed by a Ben Bishop as or not Ben Bishop excuse me Anton Tadobin as well the good old wise veteran who has one of the best interviews in hockey all the time so please everybody like comment and subscribe try and hit 125 by next week uh, this has been Sports Fanatic News for Projo enjoy all the great hockey action everybody and again have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Peace out.